hello guys welcome to tech mode and this is your guy promote here and today what we are going to do is that we will be building a simple image in a docker and we'll be uploading it to docker hub so it's a kind of a tutorial where you build your own image in a docker and which will host a website it's a small flask flask application and if you don't have any clue about uh, what is a flask application you can check out my other tutorials about flask in python it's a very small web application that uh, that contains only three files and that displays a random cat photos every time you just open it so that what we are doing doing with this is that we will be creating a container so that uh, we can send this contain send this image uh, send this image to anyone and they can just install docker and run it and they don't require any kind of dependency to install it and all so let's get i am pretty much excited about it and so let's get started so let's build an image so first of all i would like to uh, do is that uh, you must have you must install the flask you must download the basic uh, flask application from this link that i have given to you so let's jump to the code part so i have already downloaded here so if you the if you open this file it contains first file this is a requirement or text so requirement or text is basically a file which tells the pip pip is a basically a python dependency manager to install this dependency on a server so we are just saying that we want to install flask in this so this is the main file as you can see it contains a flask it's a flask application so what exactly we are doing is, is that it's a python syntax uh, we are we are just importing the python and a random variable and we created an instance of flask and we have an array of images so every time whenever you come to home direct home home directory we take a random image and we just display it to the render of this and we will be running a port 000 in this case and by default the a port will be 80 so every time you just open it and it will render this syntax to HTML and will have a URL of this. So what exactly is in that? It's in the in the index of HTML. I have mentioned the URL part as a parameterized. This is a simple Flask application. So now you have a full Flask ready application. If you wanted to run it uh, locally, you just go to this directory. So like I am in this directory right now, and either let me split it out so you guys can have better view. So if I run python app.py, it's saying no module name. Okay, so first I have to install the dependency. So pip install minus r requirement.txt. So this is how you install the dependency and make sure you have pip installed. If you're on a Mac, just install uh, this Google it around. You will be able to install uh, pip using brew install pip and python is generally installed by default in mac and if you're in windows you can just go to python python.org and download a 2.7 version and install the pip pip also using uh, just google it around you will be able to find it so i'll install dependency i messed up the spelling ah. so it, it's solving flask and i'll take a time so right now what we are doing is that we are just installing this application i have to run with sudo uh, it needs uh, administrator right so in install the dependency so that's okay in windows you can just say it run as administrator or use a powershell or something so install the all the things and it's just finishing up and it's done right so i can just write app dot python and app dot py so what it will do is that it will run on this port and i move it to this port this is our application cat chip of the day curtsy bus feed okay it's a demo application that's all so what we are doing is that we will right now we are learning locally right so i'll just quit control c and so i have downloaded this application so I have a now I have a clean directory. I don't have a, this application right now here. So what I will do is that I'll copy this these files into the cat app. Right now I have created a directory in the cat app and I don't have anything. So it's starting from a scratch. 
so i'll copy templates app and requirement or text to my directory let me see where is my directory to occur the cat app and i'll paste this thing okay so now i have all the things to so let's start building an apple build the docker docker file for it so what exactly so if you wanted to run in the docker what you have to do is that you have to create a docker file for it so create a docker file i will use docker file and do, don't give ex any extension to it so touch is a command basically in a mac or unix like system where you can create a new file using command line but if you are in windows you can use any other command maybe touch work or you can just use a notepad or something so i'll create a docker file and i will open it right so let me give you a step by step what exactly we are using so the first command in a docker file is to give to have a base image so what we are going to you do is that we will basically loading a base image so how this how it's work is that you have a command name and then command any command that you would like to do in the docker file so make sure uh, if you are in sublime you optionally you can do is to just move to ruby so that cur color and all will work fine so the first thing is capitalize command from and what is a base image so our base image is alpine and the tag i am going to give is 3.5 so alpine if you don't know guys it's a very lightweight linux system and you, you can go to alpine linux.org and we are aware it has mentioned if you, if you look at his docker image it's uh, only 5 mb so it's a full fledged uh, it's a full fledged linux with only 5 mb size and so what we will doing is that we will install this alpine and we'll be using and we'll be basically hosting our uh, our app application that is this flask application on this alpine linux and we'll be creating a image of it right so the so we have imported our four uh, so we are, we are we are here so now we have to run we have to install pip so this is how you install pip on a linux you have to do is run and there is a command for apk add minus minus update pi to and pip so basically what this command will do is that is going to install make sure you say so it's going to install uh pip as well as python on this linux and the next thing we want is to copy we want to copy a requirement or text this one so we have a requirement or text here so i'll just copy this name because i'm very bad at typing so requirements and where we want to store in the linux we want to store in usr source and app so so we want to store it here and after that when we have a requirement or text we want to run pip install pip install we don't want any kind of cache if they have in the directory and minus r and where is your file it's in usr src app dot slash and we'll copy this so now i have uh, installed the dependency i have to copy my app dot py file file to slash usr slash source slash app and i have to copy my template also so temp play slash index dot html i have to copy here uh, usr source app template slash index dot html so if the folder is not found suppose this folder will not be there so it will create a folder for us that's not a problem and we want to expose 5000 because by default the python applications run on port 5000 <coughs> now we have to run a command so this is how you run a 
come on it will take a array of arguments the first argument is python and we want to run slash usr slash src slash at the amp dot dot by and that's all so this is our docker file what exactly it will do is that it will download the alpine linux it will update and install pip and python python generally installed so it will copy the requirement of text and install it using pip if after that it's copy the app app file as well a template file into the usr source app directory it exposes the port and run the command to run this application so i have my docker file ready and here you can see docker file is ready so now you have to do is that you have to type docker build and let me search for this docker. yeah so you can just type docker bill and the tag that you want to give it's minus tag and so i have already name as a doc demo cat so what you guys can do i have a username with uh, this promote 96 so you can say the cat app anything that you like so let me do it the cat app and after dot means everything in this current directory so i'll just hit enter and it done so it's just so it's saying that from this i have copied and i have run this command and i have copied everything 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 and done so everything is done now i have to run this if you see docker ps nothing is there means only and if you go to docker images you will be able to see that i have a, do a cat app image available which is a 57 mb file right <coughs> so, so now what you guys can do is that you have to run this so you can type docker docker run minus t in a detached mode and we want to port we want to name this application so we'll name is as the cat app and we'll port uh 5000 should be matched to 5000 so whatever the port in the this machine that is alpine will <coughs> map to our machine of 50000 and we want to run what we want to run promote 96 slash the cat and it's running so let's move move to our 0.0.0.50,000 and this is a this is your application running using now you have successfully run the cat app now and so let me give you the full command if you wanted to look it so it's docker run minus d detach mode minus name and port 50 thousand and this is a uh, name of this application so i have a username promote 96 and the slash will be basically the repository of this cat app so if you wanted to push <coughs> so first of all if you wanted to stop it you can just stop using this docker stop and the name this one this is the name of this application and if you wanted to remove the same thing you can do here if you don't want it to remove the container it will echo back your container name and remove it so if you wanted to uh, have it on your hub so what you can do is that you just type docker first of all make sure you log in minus u is equal to your, your, your docker name docker name and minus p is your password this is i'm not i have already logged in so it will work for me and it will say login succeeded and after that you have to just type push and this is the name that you're going to do <coughs> the cat app i'll not do it because i already have uh, you can check out my promo 96 up to docker.com promo 96 i have a demo cat app as my repository here so you can see if you wanted to pull you can just type this command on your on your local if you wanted to pull this you can just type this command and it will automatically pull this uh, flask application containing docker file so thanks a lot guys and hope to see you in the next video please like share and comment thanks